Hello, welcome to Monday Morning. I'm Jared Spack. And I'm Tommy Capozzi. This is Timber TV's new show that hopes to make the start of your week a little better. We will be releasing episodes on Monday mornings and we'll be covering the latest happenings here at Walpole High. Spring has sprung here at Walpole High and the school is already ramping up with activity. Last week was a busy one as it saw the return of the yearly blood drive. This year, the newly formed Red Cross Club worked in part with Stuco to run this life-saving event. The phys ed classes moved out of the gym for the day so the Red Cross can set up shop and do their important work. The Red Cross was able to get 23 pints of blood from students who were brave enough to roll up their sleeves. We spoke to one of these students as she was giving blood. My mom donates blood so I decided to do it. Needles scare me so I'm kind of nervous, but it wasn't as bad. Last Wednesday on March 22nd, the WHS Music Department took the stage in their 2023 spring concert. Why not take all of me? The show featured each of the four music ensembles here at, at the high school, including the jazz band, concert choir, string orchestra, and the concert band. This is the final concert before the orchestra and the concert band perform at MICA, a music competition held at Foxborough High School, where the ensembles perform for a panel of judges. This is also the final concert held in the auditorium for this year. The next performance will be the annual Pops concert held in May in the gym with raffle baskets, refreshments, and all four ensembles. This year, the school library has been busy helping students for interventions, but there is another group that has been heading there for online classes. Haley McDonald and Carolyn Offgant have the story. Here at Walpole High School, students are taking advantage of our online class opportunities, using them to take classes of interest and make up missing credits from past years without spending the summer stuck in class. Online classes function exactly how a normal in-person class would run during a normal school day. Students will have uh, an online course scheduled on their schedule. Um, so instead of going to English or math, they would go to, uh, to the media center and, and log in and do their course. Academic online classes are free to all students. However, elective classes are paid for by the students who want to take them. Apex courses, uh, the school we pay for, the school pays for, but students are not asked to pay for those when we use them. They're used for a lot, for a little more targeted kind of, you know, if you, if, if we need to go back and, and redo part of, the, of a math course, for example, students can, um, can have some, have used that as, as, a, as an extra support. Over the last few years, there has been an increasing number of students who take online classes. Uh, estimate maybe 20 or 30 students doing an online course. Um, that may not, the ones that I, that, there may be more that I'm not sure of, but that's, a, that's probably a decent estimate for how many. If you're missing any credits from previous years, come talk to Mr. Powers in the office. You might be eligible to take an online academic. In a sense, it's really, it's much more geared towards, you know, towards this, what a student might specifically need and not fit into their schedule. Working with Callie Offgant, I'm Haley McDonald for Timber TV. The winter came and went without any snow days. We came close, but at least so far we have been at school every day this year. How does the decision get made and who has the final say before those magical phone calls go out? Nick Joukowsky has found out. Late February brought lots of hope for a snow day to the students of Walpole High School. With a rather boring winter, students were eager for a snow day. And with all the close calls, we were left wondering what really goes into calling a snow day. A snow day. Is, first of all, the, the superintendent is ultimately in charge of calling a snow day. So it's, it's up to me. And there's, a, there's a lot of factors. Um, so it's, it's looking, obviously, you know, simplistically looking at the weather forecast. Um, it's also, um, I have a, also a website that's um, called Precision Forecast, which gives much more detailed information than what you might see on TV. But, um, during the day, in the morning, if it's a morning call, um, I uh, contact DPW, um, work with them, to, and they'll be able to, they don't make the, the decision, but they'll let me know what uh, the conditions are like in Walpole. And sometimes, you know, I don't live too far away from Walpole. Um, I'll also get my husband's truck and come down in, in the wee hours to, to check things out. We also talk to other superintendents. Um, we have superintendent chains um, to talk about, you know, what they're looking at and what we're thinking um, as well. So there's a lot that goes into it. While it's hard to complain when we finally get snow days, students at Walpole have always wondered why they make the calls so early instead of the night before. 
What's interesting, if we know we're going to get the jackpot, um, I'll call it the night before, right? Everybody loves that, right? Yeah. Um, but if not, if we're not going to get a jackpot because you know we want to make sure that the students are in school safely, um, we wait until the we wait until the morning. Even though we could all use a snow day, it's important to remember our town is working hard to keep us safe, and when one is really needed, we will get it. Um, that morning, um, uh, you have to be up. I'm up at you know 3:30, 3 o'clock, 3:30, in order to watch everything and make sure that the call is made ahead of time. So um, I think you can only do know what you know, right? Based on all the factors that are in play, and usually, if you know, it's a miss for for Walpole, it's a miss for all the other districts. Um, but that's, that's the important point about sometimes having to make the call in the morning unless you get the complete jackpot. Reporting for Timber TV, I'm Nick Joukowsky. This show is a brand new effort here at Timber TV. We're going to get stories out to the students about what is going on here at school and around town. So we have Wilson and Tom over here at the Talkback set to tell us about what we're going to achieve. How's it going, guys? I'm doing great. How are you guys? Good. We're doing great. So, All right. So basically, this the whole show is about letting students know what's going on around the high school. Yeah, um, we want to hear what you guys want to see. Um, you know, if there's anything specific, any events, any clubs, or sports, let us know. You know, um, reach out to Mr. O'Farrell, any students here, me, Wilson, any of these guys. Um, let us know. We're excited to see what sponsors we get. Uh, teachers, if you you can feel free to like help us promote your classes and especially like what you guys are teaching your students. Oh mm. uh, yeah, <clears throat> like this spring we got a lot going on. A lot of sports. People, a lot of people in this class film. We can talk about film festival. I mean, I'm excited for that. I do that. Wilson does that. Kieran, our producer, does that. We're very excited for that. Yes. Contact us at timmertvstaff at walpole.k12.ma.u.s. Yeah, uh, back to you guys. Sports are always a big part of life around Walpole High. Yeah, the uh, sports department is here with a look at the changing sports seasons. Now that winter sports have ended, let's congratulate all the senior athletes. Girls hockey for making it to the playoffs. Boys basketball for getting to the Sweet 16, and both boys hockey and girls basketball for making it to the Final Four. Spring sports are ramping up. Games start at the end of March. Track, lax, tennis, baseball, softball. Let us know about fundraisers and news we can get out to the school about your teams. Get in touch with us at timbertvstaff at walpole.k12.ma.us. Well, that's all for Episode 1. We we're hoping to get the word out to the school about your club, group, or team. Get in touch with us at timbertvstaff at walpole.k12.ma.us. We want to know what you are up to and let everyone know about it. You can also follow us at TikTok, Twitter, or Instagram. Search at WHS T Timber TV to see what we are up to on the socials. Thanks so much for joining us today. We'll see you next time.